lost my oh, who's dog. this? Someone in a jovial ju jovial jugglery ju <laughs> Someone in a jovial juggler gave me a gold piece to come and find you. Slow down, breathless child. Who's tossing money about in hopes of finding me? Her name's Officer Vi, and she's with the Flaming Fist. And you needn't worry, she's real nice. By the way, how did you know my name? Why, well, everyone here is talking about you. You're the ones who saved the Nashgal Mines. My mama says that even though we don't like those folks from Om, there's no reason anyone should have to suffer so. Thank you, child. You have earned your gold piece. I will go to the jovial juggler and meet with your benefactor as soon as I am able. Good. You folks are real nice. Mama says the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Timora, be with you. Alright, so that was Officer Vi. We already talked to her. So, she's the one that wants the bandit scalps. And the burning wizard, so let's see if we can handle this quest. Okay, here's Zerlong. That should be the guy I'm thinking that wants the boots so let's yeah, talk to him you're a godsend oh here's all the gold that I took from you I may be a kleptomaniac but at least I'm an honorable one right and here's a hundred gold pieces for your help too consider it a down payment on your pocket alright so we close that one Okay, journal update. Yeah, boots of stealth were taken from you. I gained 150 experience points. Got another 100 gold. All right. Does he have anything You're else to say? You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Okay, that looks like it needs to be. F oh, he just pickpocketed me again. All right, that needs to be updated. Because Zerlong said again, "Have you found those hobgoblins yet?" But I already did, and I gave him the boots back. So. Doesn't appear that quest is properly closed. Let's take a look at the quest here. Yep, it's moved to the completed. It's just the dialogue just needs to be adjusted. Alright, so we got that done. Is there anything else we can knock out? Okay, I guess I could go up to the Friendly Arm Inn and handle this quest and knock that one out. Hmm. Yeah, all these other ones I really need to find some stuff yet, so... Yeah, this set of boots, this bottle of wine, Mm, the spider body and I think that's it for that quest up at the friendly arm hmm I'm thinking we should just go ahead and go up there and knock it out and then come back here and see if we can close out these other quests Tang -tie. yeah cause I could really use those experience points so but that's a pretty good journey too up that I'm way. A fine looking strumpet, Aren't you lonely tonight? Are you interested in some thrills, darling? Anything worth doing is worth doing slowly. Okay. Let's see. I'm actually curious as to where Garrick is. I wonder if he's at the friendly arm, so I'm thinking let's go ahead and take the journey back up north and hit the friendly arm and close out that one quest there and then we can see if Garrick is there let's see I think 
Let's actually travel through the Lion's Way instead of going directly to the Friendly Arm because there might be something new here. That way we can find out for sure. So let's travel through Lion's Way. Alright, here we are back at the Friendly Arm Inn. It was relatively uneventful coming up from the uh, from Bear Ghost. So we're going to come up into the inn here and see if we can close out this one quest. One dealing with the spiders and boots and stuff. All right, here we are up on the third floor of the Friendly Arm Inn. We're going to go talk to Landrin here. Khalid, my dear. And Would this take a should to untie that tongue. close out the quest with the spider body the worn out boots and the wine, so let's take a look here. Your acquaintance, I am glad to have I'm made. glad you can move home again. I'm glad I can move home again. Bentley is a kindly man, but it is always best not to push favors too far. Here's 120 gold for your trouble. I'll just take those old boots from me. If you have any of my other possessions, come and talk to me again. Okay. So I got a journal entry update, I got 120 gold, got 200 experience points, the worn out boots were taken from me. So let's talk to her again. The underground seems safe oh, I see you have the largest body of the pesky to. spiders in my house. Okay, so she grabbed the spider body from me. So I got 200 gold, 100 experience points, journal update, and spider body has been taken. So it should be a wine the left. Seems safer by oh, me wine. Here's 75 golds, and thanks for clearing out the spiders. Okay, so she did take the wine. They got 74 gold, although she said it's here 75. 50 experience points, journal entry updated, and bottle of wine is done. Let's see, does she Your have anything else to say? Glad to have made. Nope, that's it. Let's look at the journal. See if that's all updated. Yep, spider infestations closed out. Alright, so let's head back downstairs. I believe so. Okay, so we were down here on the first floor of the Friendly Arm, and something I noticed is I don't see Garrick here, so I wonder where he went to. Maybe he's up in Baldur's Gate? I don't know. I kind of assumed he might be here. But, unfortunately he is not, so I don't know where I can pick him back up if I need to again as a companion. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's take one more quick look just to make sure, yeah, I don't, don't see him. So, I think what we're going to do is head back south towards the uh, Barago stuff, and then we're going to see if we can find some of that stuff and help out Minsk uh, get Dinah here and handle some of those quests down there. So, well, let's head south. The sun shines, and I am amazed we live to see another day. Okay, so I think it probably be, I haven't been to this temple yet, and I, we might be able to get some quests out of there too. So I'm thinking we should head there first. Let's see, High Hedge, Red Canyons, the Fisherman's Lake. There's a lot of places to explore. Lonely Peaks. Firewine Bridge, the rest of the Valley of Tombs, Gibberling Mountains, the rest of Fireleaf Forest, and the Dryad Falls. So we have a lot of stuff we could potentially take a look at. But let's go to the temple first. Okay, here we are at the Baragos Temple. We actually arrived on the north end of the map. I'm surprised we didn't get fatigued. We traveled for 22 hours to get here, so... Let's see. I'm thinking we should check out everything on the outside here first. 
there's somebody right there, a drunk. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you doing? I kind of got lost on my way home. Anyways, that doesn't matter no more. Give me all your money. What? Uh, look, fella, we're not going to give you all of our money. Wrong answer, boys. You should have given me the monies when I asked you. You know what I am? I'll let you into a little secret. I'm a lich. I'm a powerful magic that I wield, and now you're made me mad. You've got one last chance. Give me all your money. Look, guy, we're not going to give you any money. Now bug off. Well, you guys just don't get it, do ya? I'm gonna kill you with all my mighty magical powers. So now, what's it gonna be? Death? Or something? We're leaving now. Bye. Hey, where are you? Alright, that guy's not gonna... I don't think he pickpocketed me. Let's take a look through here. Doesn't look like he took any money. Okay, so there's a door to the temple. What's this little building over here in the corner? Let's take a look at this. Two temple. So we got two buildings. Alright, I want to check this tr transition point. See if there's anything new coming up on the map. Nope. Another entryway to the building here. Who's this guy? Ashen. Don't touch me! I might catch Not to be rude, but will you stand a bit back from me? By all the gods, I should be glad to be back in Waterdeep. Come the new ten day. Oh. Uh. I quick do that too quick. I don't know if he had any other dialogue. Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything spectacular in that dialogue. What the hell is that? A bunch of hobgoblins. Hmm. Galeus, what the hell's going on with this guy? Gotta kill these damn wolves. Damn, that was kind of strange. Let's talk to the Galilius. Knowledge used wisely. Thirty degrees latitude, longitude varying greatly, moons in conjunction. Pardon my lack of focus, but I've been studying the skies for some time now. Now I have a positively wicked kink in my neck, and cannot seem to focus on anything closer than the horizon. Such are the pains of astrology, I suppose. Most powerful of tools. And what have your observations revealed to you? Oh, I couldn't possibly tell you all that I see. There's so much raw data that must be interpreted and examined thrice over. It is a wonder that even I can assimilate all the information with no ill effects. Still, the long and the short of it reveals interesting times ahead. If I did not know better, I would have 
say that the heavens themselves look on them with interest. Conflicts of great significance are on the horizon. Okay. And another door to the temple. What do we have back at Vampiric Wolves? Hmm. Oh, what do we got here? Some kobolds coming out of the woodwork. And we got a level up for Jahira. Hmm, no drops. Nature so let's take care of this awaits. level up. Okay, what do they recommend? Wisdom, which I agree with. Well, let's continue on. Let's go with concentration. Mm. Let's kick some into survival, I think. Yep. Got a fit, uh, feats, <laughs> resist nature's lure. Okay, let's look at her spell book. And let's get another light spell. And we get another first level spell. Let's try lesser vigor. Let's get some of that. Alright, level two lot to choose from here. I think what I'm gonna try... Let's try Splinter Bolt. Actually thinking to get some bark skin. Yeah, let's stick with some bark skin there. Alright, so let's do a quick save.